More news coming in at this point in time. Jammu and Kashmir political war over terrorist stooges. Mehbooba writes to Chief Minister Omar Abdullah on sacking centre's side government staff with terror links. Mehbooba says reinstate acts government staffers. Jammu and Kashmir officials sacked by the centre for terror links. Earlier assembly brawl on Article 370. Fresh political war looms in Jammu and Kashmir. Ashrafani getting in more details on that big story at this point in time. Talk to us, Ashraf, specifically about what exactly has Mehbooba Mufti told the new chief minister about sacking of government officials. This was something that we had been seeing uh, continuously over a period of time previously, a couple of months ago, with many associated with the government in some form or the other in different government jobs were accused of having terror links. How many of these charges were actually proven? Let's put this into perspective. Actually, Saniha, uh, government after the abrogation of Article 370 uh, went hard uh, against all those individuals who were responsible or have any kind of terror links in Jammu and Kashmir and a number of employees including the police personnel were uh, terminated from the government services as it was a policy of the uh, LG administration that any government employee who will be anti-nationalist or have any kind of link with the separatists or the terrorists will be sacked from the government job. Many uh, recommendations were put forward uh, in the government from different departments and at least 60 such uh, government employees were uh, terminated from the government services on the charges of terror links and the separatist links. But now the uh, during the election campaign we have seen particularly the PDP was raising the issue of all these government employees who had been terminated from the government services uh, and uh, assured them during the elections that if PDP comes in the power these all will not only be reinstated but also all those people who are currently in the different jails of the country will be released unconditionally. Uh, so that was a promise made also by the national conference. Uh, once again we are seeing that as we have seen during last one week when there was a first inaugural session of Jumant Kashmir Assembly, how PDP on the first day of that session which was the day for the uh, uh, election of the speaker brought the resolution of 370 and compelled the government, National Conference government, to bring the resolution in Jammu and Kashmir for the uh, revocation of, uh, uh, for uh, bringing back the Article 370 or for special status of Jammu and Kashmir. And now again the politics is going on. Mahbubha Mufti, the former Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir and the President of the People's Democratic Party has written a letter to the uh, Chief Minister Omar Abdullah where she has said that all those employees without any kind of a fair trail had been sacked from the government services. They are in a, a tough conditions after the removal and after the uh, uh, sacking from the government jobs. So the government should take up those cases and reinstate all those government employees who had been sacked uh, after abrogation of Article 370 on 5th August 2019. It is a big challenge for the Umar Abdullah also because uh, uh, government has already terminated these employees. Most of them are the relatives of the separatist leaders. Some of them have some kind of links, right. alleged links with the terror groups. Some have some cases. And now it is to be seen that what kind of steps will be taken by the government and the Umar Abdullah as a chief minister to look after all those terminated employees who had been uh, terminated during the last five years here in Jammu and Kashmir. All right, I'm going to thank you, Ashravani, getting in those details, Ashraf, putting that story into perspective. As far as the letter of Mehbooba Mufti to the Chief Minister, to Umar Abdullah, is concerned about reinstating government employees who had been sacked by the government previously.